Hi there, everybody. My name is Kay. Welcome to my channel, Trinity Awakens Naturally. Um, I am in an, a little bit of an impromptu session that um, I made the first video having to do with Sirius and um, the Lionsgate portal. Sirius happened in July and um, uh, Lionsgate happens on 8-8. Uh, don't wait, Kate. Don't wait. Um, and I suddenly found that it's raining where I live. I live in Florida. We get a lot of rain. However, today is particularly busy storm that's knocked out my internet and my disconnection from my internet from my source my ability to uh oh watch tv watch youtube watch you know whatever my source has been knocked out no it hasn't that this is a perfect opportunity for me to take what i have and use that and say okay i don't have that anymore what do i have what do i have i'm not even at the Lionsgate portal. How shall I use the energy that is here with me right now? What shall I use? Because it's not limited to some earth understanding of internet. God's bigger. My spirit team is bigger. My ancestors, my angelic teams, my everybody, yours is too. I don't have the corner market on anything that you don't have, boo-boo. That how shall I use what I do have? Because we often as earth citizens, we get bogged down with what we don't have. That's the paradigm. That's what we're taught to do is to look at the nasty and the ugly and the ugh, that I don't have this, I don't have that. And we forget to be appreciative for what do we have because we seek and we want to have more and that's understandable. We want to be growing and evolving. That's the human condition. We want to be growing and evolving. That's why we're so pissed off is we want to be growing, evolving and knowing more. Do you hear that? If you don't hear that, there's huge thunderstorms. That's gigantic thunder and lightning that's going on and it's really exciting because thunder and lightning clear stuff out. And if there's not anything more indicative of the Lionsgate portal, it's clear out that old energy, clear out old baggage, old haggage and old draggage because it's gonna drag your frequency down every chance it can. Not because it's Maleficent uh, from 101 Dalmatians, not because it's evil and mean, it's that that's the old paradigm, that's the old understanding, that's the old way of doing things. And none of us really like to be held back or bound. We sit in those toxic, busted equations and relationships because it's what we know. And we are afraid sometimes to grow because somebody's always gonna be willing to tell us why we're wrong, why we shouldn't do that, why we blah, blah, blah. And that's out of their fear. That's not generally in my own experience, and I you know, can't go on record for speaking for all human beings, of course, I can only speak for myself, that if I have that thought of I really wanna burst out and go do something that's really off the church and saying that it's really held back by other people's opinion of that. And when I have that validation, it's really great. However, the truth is, is that there's more insane off the church things they're the ones that really feed me the most. And really, when I can tune into that, forget that I don't have internet com uh, communication with my TV um, or my you know, understanding of Hulu and Netflix for me, that when I can tune into that frequency of God equation is bringing something far better right now than Hulu or Netflix or Prime, Amazon, Amazon Prime could bring to me, it's bringing an electrical storm, lightning, thunder to remind me of what's the norm. The norm, I'm here to shake that up, break it up and you know, let's get it out because I'm a, a disruptor. I like being on that leading edge of thought. Can't say that my human being always enjoys being on that leading edge of thought whenever I'm going, I just want normal. I just, what's normal? What's normal? What would I set, excuse me, be willing to settle for? And why am I settling for it? What am I settling for? And with this disruption of clouds, thunder, lightning, rain, pounding rain, shaking my building, then what I feel deep within me, the marrow of my bones is change, disruption. I, as a human being, and I understand I'm not like every single person on the planet and not everybody's gonna identify. However, if you do, maybe you understand this, that I like to have change. I like to have a disruption of the energy to change because when it's too stagnant, it just stays there in that nah. And there has to be a resolution to that. There has to be a change, especially when there's pain involved. And when things are stagnant, stale, and uh, they're generally painful. So Lionsgate is a very intense time. It's a very strong time. It's a very powerful time. The energy is coming from outer space. Then I want to hop on that race and use that, not abuse that. However, use that. Jump on that quantum wave with those 
frequencies that are here for me because loving frequency is loving frequency. It doesn't love me more and you less. It doesn't love you more and me less. It loves, period. It's a matter of shall I jump into that frequency or shall I be over here in the butthole frequency not availing myself of it? Unconditional love does not go seek itself out. It doesn't go and say, you must love me. That's not unconditional love. Unconditional love is you're allowed to be whatever you want to be. And when you're tired of doing it that old way that hurts and is painful and is ow, then maybe you'll come back, sacred cow. And it's not with a shame or a blame or a judgment session. That's the higher frequency. Unconditional love is unconditional love. That's all it can be. It doesn't have a judgment. It doesn't have a shame. It doesn't have a blame. And it doesn't have a name as far as I'm concerned. When it's expressing itself through um, frequencies that are relegated to, uh, excuse me, angelic teams, animal teams, etc., then yes, we parcel those out and we, you know, align them and assign them based on our human understanding. But ultimate divinity, God frequency, well above me and earth, well above thee and earth, quite frankly, um, our most evolved planet person on the planet is still, you know, there's divinity well above that. So, you know, it's not a matter of I'm better than you and I know more than you. Uh, we all are in school to learn was cool up there in Upper Knowledge College of Divinity that we reach that through our own understanding of divinity and how do we reach that divinity within ourselves and grow that, know that, and bring that forward so that lightning can bring in the energy of lightning and thunder and change. Change it, because that old paradigm is busted, it's dusty, and it's just bringing you pain. Let it go easier said than done. I mean, I'm not a master all of a sudden. That, yeah, just let it go. Things are painful. However, turning and running away from it isn't going to help. Or putting the blinders on and pretending like it isn't there isn't going to help. Or assigning blame somewhere. We're ultimately still responsible whether somebody else hurt us or not, whether somebody else did us dirty or not. We're still responsible for cleaning up our spot. And if I've been blown apart by somebody else who, you know, blasted me and I'm in a million different pieces, it's still my responsibility to pick up all my little energetic parts, all my little blasted up parts and put them all back together again and go towards that higher frequency. Doesn't mean I like it. Doesn't mean that I have to, in my human understanding, be okay with that and say, sure, no problem. I love you anyway. Uh, God frequency can love anyway. My human beings might have a day or two that we're going to go, yeah, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And that's okay. Because what I have to know in that is I am responsible for me. I pick up all the parts of me, all of my identity, all of my energetic stamps, all of my energetic addresses, all of me that's my identity. I'm responsible for that and I don't have to do lateral combat anymore. That known offenders <laughs> are not people that I'm going to need to play with again in the future. That if you're not willing to come in and change your equation, then we probably don't have work to do in the future. If you've lambasted me in the fat past, or if I've lambasted you, we have a broken system. It doesn't work, and let's not do that. And that's pretty well clearly defined in how I find, oh, that doesn't feel good. Then I know. We oftentimes just ignore that and go over it because we're geared as human beings in our society in 2021 or you know, anytime under the sun between now and whenever, that we're kind of geared to just keep pressing forward and press past those, those feelings of, oh, I don't know, because we, do, we want to fit in. We want to be a part of the club. We want to be included. We want to be loved. And <clears throat> my team, my angelic frequencies, your angelic frequencies, in my humble opinion, take it or leave it, is they would not ask you to do anything that would disgrace you or disown you, or disavow you or disallow you, that your higher frequency within you already knows how to do you and how to do you at the highest uh, frequency that you can possibly be at any given time. Your higher self, if you will, is way far, far advanced based on you know human understanding your higher self and then every angelic understanding but above that or higher consciousness whatever you call that whether it goes to your church or not doesn't matter it's irrelevant agnostic or atheist it doesn't matter your higher self your higher understanding your place that you go uh, you know whether you're agnostic or atheistic or not where do you go when you're in here in your spot 
You don't have to call that God. I don't call it God. It's too, um, too controversial. I call that my divinity, my sacred, what I consider to be my holiness, my holy me. And that me is fortified. There's no ego involved, ideally, <laughs> because divinity is feeding me from that source that doesn't need the ego to be involved. It's simply a stating, I am a child of the universe. I am protected. I am loved. And I am unconditionally able to love other people. And I expect other people to unconditionally love me. Now it runs into human problem because we're not as highly evolved always as our higher consciousness and the people around us because of old paradigms, old theories, old lifetimes, old understandings of things that are relegated to human understanding or even out there in outer space understanding, doesn't matter. You always have the ability to grab a hold of your nobility and your sovereignty and say, yeah, even though we did 200 lifetimes before, I'm going to stop that now and I'm going to do this instead. There's great empowerment in that lesson of, I'll take it from here. I'll just take it from here because God equation, God understanding, divinity, sacred is bigger in my opinion. It runs lightning and thunder and hurricanes and all kinds of natural phenomenon and outer space stuff that's just off the charts, amazing. Then that's power that I don't have at my fingertips and I yield to that. I surrender to that and I say, ha, that is the higher power and I can tap into that because I'm from that. I am with breath and life, and that's the commonality of every single being. In my opinion, my holy opinion, every single entity on the planet, life, uh, excuse me, life form or human or um, animal, whatever, it doesn't matter that we all have that commonality of God frequency, of God equation, of we all are exchanging breath, air, etc., oxygen. And so we have that commonality of understanding and energy. And energy is neither created nor destroyed. So if it's neither created nor destroyed, it's redistributed in me, in you, etc. And I want my energy to ever evolve, not to, dec to decay and go away and just be eh, Nagasaki or Hiroshima. Yuck. I want my energy to be evolving and working for the higher good of all people, period doesn't mean that I'm going to get there always in my human understanding because my ego does get involved. However, the more I can listen to the rainstorm, the thunder, the lightning that brings that clarity to me instantly of, yeah, there's something more in charge than I can't watch, you know, my show on Hulu. So what? It's okay. Sit with it. How shall I use what I have before me and be okay? How shall I use that to my advantage so that I get the lesson faster and I'm not sitting here twitting and uh, twerking about how I don't have my show, I don't have this. Who cares? Which way would you like to go with that? We always have the choice. And divinity, I don't believe is a harsh teacher and a brutal teacher. I believe divinity brings us and karmic justice is when we're piling up badly that we just don't want to see we aren't gonna I don't want to eh, and then we get angry upset and it brings that that karmic return however divinity is always there and yes we do have to pay the price for for sins of the past for decisions that were really not okay however they can be very much uh mollified by recognizing that I'm not in charge I can stand down, take my ego out of this, and how may I serve this situation? So how may I serve divinity? How may I serve me? How may I serve humanity? And that's how I like to go forward, not to be a doormat, not to answer the call of every other person. I answer the call of me and my divinity first. And then when I'm told, hey, take that out into humanity, then I do so. And when I need to keep my humanity more home driven of, I need to be more about me and what I'm about and really enriching me and nourishing me, then I keep it with me so that I'm able to take my divinity out past my own energetic borders. And only when I know that it's safe to do so, otherwise I might be engaging people from my ego. And that's a bad place to be because it makes me angry, upset, and you know all kinds of things if I'm engaging at a level that's real 3D oriented. I'm about higher consciousness, and I want other people to be about higher consciousness too because it's just a sweeter place to be and to do life because that's where our creative brilliance is, it's where our creative genius is, it's where our leading edge of thought is. And human beings are geared. We are absolutely geared and wired for higher consciousness. We're not taught that. 
and for whatever reason we're not, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm here to say it doesn't matter what your training is. It doesn't matter what your indoctrination is. It doesn't matter what your brainwashing was. <laughs> you have the ability. You can do it. You must do it if you want to answer that call of the wild within you. If you hear that, if you don't hear that, probably not listening to me. So I hope that you hear that and I hope you can hear me say that this within you, I don't have a secret answer that nobody else has. I go looking and I encourage you to go looking too because if you're wondering, if you're curious, that's awesome. That's your spirit talking to you and saying, please answer the phone there. Please answer the phone. Please answer the phone right now. So I'm gonna go, ironically enough, the storm has lessened and I've ordered a pizza for the night because <laughs> I didn't want to cook. So I've ordered a pizza and I'm waiting for it to come. And I'm enjoying the fact that there's a beautiful uh, lightning storm and, and rainstorm that's going through and it's cleansing. Lots of frogs in my area cleansing and releasing and letting go and purging and letting go with that Lionsgate portal that a lot of energy, sun's gonna blast some stuff out but we need some water too to kind of temper that hot spot, right? So anyhow, there will be more videos on the way. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that you will reach in and find your divine. It's within you. It's within you. It's within. It's in your skin. Find it, my friend. Get there. Get in mission control. Take charge. And feel free to kick anybody else out of there that's talking and being large because you're the only one. You're the only face that belongs in your mission control. It's yours and your team is waiting to help you. They love you and they want to show you. And believe it or not, <laughs> I believe that every human being wants to hear that. We're just, we're stupided out and dumbed down from approaching that out of ego. So anyhow, there will be more videos. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that you're able to find your divine. Be well and enjoy your evening or your part of the day, whatever part of the day you're in. I'm gonna enjoy my pizza, my friend. Thank you very much and take care. I'll see you next time, friend. Bye. <laughs>